Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, it's Kaylee, and today I'm going to show you how to get this look, which I tried to center around a lilac eyeshadow. Like, I knew I wanted to use a very light purple eyeshadow for this look because it's perfect for summer pink lips, mauve cheeks, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you want to see how I did this makeup look, then keep on watching. Alright guys, so today we're going to start off using MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. This gives the perfect amount of coverage to the entire eyelid so that it's all one shade and it gives a great base to start with so you can really see the eyeshadows that we'll be using today. Next, I'm going in with Sigma Eyeshadow in Misty from the Smokescreen Eyeshadow Palette. It's a matte light violet, and we're going to apply this directly to the lid with a flat shader brush. If you want more color payoff with a lighter eyeshadow like this one that I'm using here, then use a brush that has more density and width to it. It'll make packing on the color much quicker and easier for you. Now we're going in with Makeup Geek Eyeshadow in Unexpected. It's a matte pale pink brown. We're going to apply this eyeshadow right to the outer half of the eyelid and you want to lightly push it into the misty eyeshadow, the first one we used, to blend the two together so there's a nice smooth transition. This is Makeup Geek's eyeshadow in Mocha. It's a deep brown shade and this is going to go into the outer corner as well but we'll be using a more pointed brush for this because you really want to focus this eyeshadow in a V shape to darken the outer corner up and make it look more smoky. I will be doing a winged out eyeliner. This is Physicians Formula Sexy Booster Ooh La La Liquid Eyeliner Pen. And if you have narrow set or smaller eyes like me, then you'll love this technique. By drawing this line out from the very edge of your eye up towards your eyebrow, it naturally makes your eyes appear wider and larger. This step is completely optional, you guys don't have to use false lashes, but I decided to for this look. These are called Wispy Sweet Nothing by Velour Lashes. And these lashes are my favorite because they look great on smaller eyes, and they give me volume without looking too dramatic. This is MAC Pro Longwear Foundation in NW20, and I like to blend this in circular motions all over my face using my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. I love using this foundation because it gives the best full coverage out of all the foundations I own. Like, it literally covers all my red spots and blemishes. It's actually really nice, and I've gone through about three or four of these bottles already. After foundation, I like to do my eyebrows, and I'm just using a brow pencil from Lorac in the shade Auburn to first fill in any sparse areas, and then using the spoolie side, I blend out the front part of my brow so it looks a little bit more natural looking. Then I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown with an angle brush and I make short small strokes to better define the outer half and the lower edges of my eyebrows. Going back to the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, we're going to be applying this under the eyes in a downward triangle shape. This will give you the appearance of lifted cheekbones while still concealing any under eye circles. I'm going to be using Physicians Formula CC Plus Powder and you want to apply this under the eyes. This will basically prevent your concealer from creasing throughout the day. Now going in with Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, I'm going to be applying this to the hollows of the cheeks with my tapered brush. So with bronzer, you never want to drag it down. You want to make sure to blend it up using upward strokes towards the hairline to help lift and make the cheekbone appear higher. And then with whatever is left on the brush, just lightly blend down the sides of the nose if you want a more slimmer and defined look. And then I also blended the bronzer above the temples and around the jawline and chin to finish contouring the face. Alright, so now we're going to be going in with Sigma Born 2 Powder Blush. It's a muted mauve shade. 
I'm applying it right above the bronzer with my fan brush from Bare Minerals. You want to make sure to blend this towards the hairline as well, just like the bronzer. Keep away from the center of the face. You want that area to be lighter than the rest of your face. Okay, so going back to the eyes again, we're going to work on the lower lash line. This is Mocha from Makeup Geek, the same eyeshadow we used earlier. I'm going to apply this to the entire lower lash line, right on top of the lashes. And this will really help to define the eyes even more. And then you want to take Lilac, which is the lightest color we used, and apply that to the inner corner to brighten the eye area. Here we go, this is the last step guys. We're going to be using Flirt Lipstick in Dainty. It's a medium pink shade. Pretty much my go-to everyday lipstick at the moment. I love it. So I'm just applying that on my lips and that's pretty much it for this entire look. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, if you have any questions, I'm always here for you. You can ask me literally anything in the comments down below or send me a tweet on Twitter. And if you have any requests for other videos, definitely let me know down below in the comments too. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Disney portrait. Babe, Warner. trust me. Trust me. <laughs> wait, wait, trust me. That picture was better than this one. Well, okay? Let me see which one. Whoa. Let me see which. Wait, one you one made one. me click something else. Kaylee's always making me take selfies with. <laughs> now imagine if I posted. She's always making me take selfies with that imagine one. Imagine if I posted this one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That, one. like, that one's stupid. I'm looking for your knife as well. Stop.